We're here today planting London's first tiny forest in Hammersmith Park. We're here in partnership with Hammersmith and Fulham Council and Earthwatch Europe. So Tiny Forest, we're bringing a little slice of a native woodland back into an urban space uh, in Hammersmith and creating a haven for wildlife and also a place for the community to really come and enjoy nature, reconnect with the environment and um, yeah, hopefully inspire them to take care of the, the natural world. So this space in the future is part of a broader regeneration project being run by the council. Um, this tiny forest will be enjoyed as part of a larger area for recreation right in the heart of Hammersmith Park. Planting a green area like this is just so important. In urban areas where there's a lack of green space, we've got problems with air quality, air pollution and so on, greening the borough and providing something like this is absolutely so important helps with people's well-being, it helps people's lives, people being able to get out into the open and enjoy this is brilliant. Also, you know, we're trying to improve the biodiversity uh, in the borough and something like this is brilliant for that sort of thing. After today, Fever Tree are going to be part of the Keeper team that's been set up by Earthwatch. So we'll have a group of volunteers who'll be coming along um, at intervals over the next couple of months um, and even the next couple of years to check on the trees because we're putting them in the ground today, but we want to make sure that they've got the best chance of survival. We're really excited to be working with Fever Tree and we've got a lot of shared ambitions here. So Fever Tree's focus on um, sustainability plan around biodiversity and connecting people to nature is really aligned with the work that we do at Earthwatch. We really do see this as the first of many, um, working in partnership with Earthwatch. We're looking at the possibility of planting more tiny forests both in the UK and internationally uh, with some of our key markets. We're looking to create 100, over 100 tiny forests across the UK in the next couple of years and we're already well on track to achieve that and we're also working with partners across Europe um, with the tiny forest movement so we'll be gathering a wealth of um, scientific data on how these forests perform and able to see how nature-based solutions can help with sustainable cities.